Hello everyone, welcome to the Bookstore Podcast. Today's talk is about the procrastinators. Procrastination is the act of delaying or putting off tasks until the last minute or past their deadline. Some researchers define procrastination as a form of self-regulation failure characterized by the irrational delay of tasks despite potentially negative consequences. No matter how well organized and committed you are, chances are that you have found yourself frittering away hours on things like watching TV, updating your Facebook status, shopping online, when you should have been spending that time on work or other projects. Whether you're putting off finishing a project for work, avoiding homework assignments, or ignoring household chores, procrastination can have a major impact on your job your grades, and your life. The reality is that if you wait until you're in the right frame of mind to do certain tasks, especially undesirable ones, you will probably find that the right time simply never comes along and the task never gets completed. And we often come up with a number of excuses or rationalizations to justify our behavior. The different type of people have different reasons for their procrastinational behavior, and they can be divided into 1. The perfectionist. Perfectionists are afraid to start the task at hand because they get stressed out about getting every detail right. They can also get stuck in the process, even when they have started since they are just too scared to move on. The solution to this to be clear about the purpose of your tasks and assign a time limit to each to deal with procrastination. This will force you to stay focused and finish tasks within the available time frame. 2. The dreamer. They enjoy making the plan more than taking the action. They are creative, good at work but it's hard for them to finish the given task. They should deconstruct the tasks into the smaller bite-sized chunks. Let's say as you are reading a 100-page book, set your focus into reading one page at a time one after another. This way you will complete it all without even delaying it. 3. The avoider. Avoiders are say worriers are scared to take on tasks that they think they cannot manage. They would rather put off work than be judged by the others when they end up making mistakes. One should focus on the worst task first to tackle this type of procrastination. Spend your mornings working on the tasks you find most challenging. This will give you a sense of achievement, and it helps you build momentum for a productive day ahead. 4. The Crisis Maker The crisis maker deliberately pushes back work until the last minute. They find the deadlines or you can say the crisis, exciting and believe that they work best when working under pressure. To get out of that illusion of your last-minute capabilities, try focusing. On working in short, intensely focused bursts and then giving yourself a brief to recover and start over. Fortunately, there are a number of different things you can do to fight procrastination and start getting things done on time. 1. Make a to-do list. To help keep you on track, consider placing a due date next to each item. 2. Take baby steps. Break down the items on your list into small, manageable steps so that your tasks don't seem so overwhelming. 3. Recognize the warning. Signs. Pay attention to any thoughts of procrastination and do your best to resist the urge. If you begin to think about procrastinating, force yourself to spend a few minutes working on your task. 4. Eliminate distraction. Ask yourself what pulls your attention away the most, whether Instagram, Facebook updates, or the local news, and turn off those sources of distraction. 5. Reward yourself. Our human behavior is that we human loves getting rewards. So whenever you finish an item on your to-do list on time, congratulate yourself and reward yourself by indulging in something you find fun. I hope now you will be able to accept yourself as a better person and get control of how and when you are procrastinating. So here I take your leave. Thank you for listening.
Make sure you subscribe to the short blog channel and do like, share and comment. Thank you.